All right, welcome in, everybody. Let's rock and roll. Come on. What are we doing today? Let's see. Let's just see what we're going to do this morning. Sorry. So sorry for being late this morning. I woke up at uh, 8 and um, snoozed my alarm and was like, you know what? We can go back to bed for like 10 minutes, right? And then woke up like two hours later and I missed the 10 a.m. time slot. I'm so sorry, guys. So sorry, but it's okay. We're here now. We're ready to paint, we're ready to show you something really cool. So you can see, I've already taken my Bob Ross liquid clear, which looks just like this. Some fantastic stuff, the liquid clear. Now, we've got to cover our canvas with this liquid clear. So what I do is put a big stripe down this, the middle and then kind of fill in some bits. And that way we can not really have a whole big glob everywhere and you can sort of start to work it from one side to another side filling in all these excess areas, right? You need this wet clear on the canvas in order for all of our colors to blend and slide and move and all that stuff, right? Just crisscrossing. Look at my morning hair. Oh, oh, guys, I gotta go put a hat on. All, all my hats have been signed and sent out to people. So I have no hats to wear. I'm waiting on my delivery to show up. Maybe they'll get here today, maybe. Who knows? So we're streaming to YouTube, to uh, TikTok, and to Facebook. So no matter where you're watching, there's a different angle, right? A different orientation. So you can check it out over on YouTube, over on Facebook, and right here on TikTok. All of you guys watching, wherever you want to watch, wherever you want to be, all we need to do is grab a little of this clear and make sure it's stretched all the way across our canvas. That's it. That's it. And once we get it all over, we're going to go wipe it off. Doesn't make any sense. Why are we putting it on, Josh? Well, when you put it on like this, it's very heavy and very thick, right? And we're spreading it as far as we can possibly spread it to kind of stretch it all the way out, right? You don't need it to be super thick. And that's why after we're done spreading it as much as we possibly can, right? Making sure every bit of the canvas is like the same. You can see it as you go down. So look at how reflective it is. You can see my reflection on it. Like a, like a mirror. <laughs> That's crazy. Now, we've got to go wipe that guy off with a couple paper towels. I like using the Viva brand, right? They're, they're the soft ones, you know what I mean? Like the, the fancy ones. <laughs> These ones, they seem to leave the least amount of bits on the canvas when you go to wipe off all that excess clear, right? So as we're wiping it and taking off all the excess, it's actually making the canvas much slicker. When you put that clear on, it's very thick and syrupy, like um, syrup. <laughs> and when you wipe it off, it becomes more and more and more slick. So we need it to be nice and slick in order for all of our paints to slide and glide and move and groove all over the place, right? Now, over here. Beat the devil out of the bucket. Always, always, always. And then dry it off on a paper towel. Never forget, dry it off on a paper towel. Now. Let's see what we're going to get into today, guys, with this nice, bare, wet canvas. It's already all slick. You guys got to tell me where you're watching from. What's your favorite sandwiches? Let me know right now. And make sure that if you're watching over on Facebook, you're tapping the little emojis. Right? Don't do it too much or it'll stop you from doing it. But every so often, give me a couple taps on those emojis. Let's more people know we're doing some cool stuff. If you're watching over on TikTok, make sure you're just tapping the screen like you've never tapped it before. And if you're watching over on YouTube, just one little thumbs up. A little thumbs up is all we need. Now, Josh, how are we going to paint when you don't have any paints out on the palette? What are you doing? All right, hang on. Let me get some blue. I have some of our blue. Man, we're almost out of blue. Look at this, guys. When you paint every day, you go through these big tubes quite quickly, let me tell you. Let me tell you how much is spent on supplies every month to uh, come up here and paint for you guys every day. Sometimes three times a day. What are we doing? Why do I paint so much? Well, there's lots of people out there that want to buy my artwork. And if I don't paint any new ones, how are they going to get anything, right? So, speaking of which, you can head over to uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com, right over there on Etsy, and... I've got more than 1,300 sales over there. Uh, it's my most established little store. So if you head over there, 
uh, paintwithjosh.etsy.com. You can actually buy this painting before it's even finished. You can get it before it's even finished, guys. Purchase it before anyone else can. That's the way to do it. Now, we got blue, crimson, black, and white. A little bit of purple. I think we got enough purple. Some phthalo green. Maybe. Ooh, I don't know. We can get into some craziness. I've been getting into this really crazy, like, Indian yellow, sap green, phthalo green, like, galaxy sky. And we've done a few of them. And we had a request for maybe, like, a pinky style one. So let's do that. Let's do that. Over here, why don't we get our big old two-inch brush. We've got our mead and crimson, okay? So we're going to use mead and crimson, will of the Indian yellow, probably some of the cad yellow, and then uh, phthalo blue, the wizard and crimson, midnight back, uh, pfft, black, and then our titanium white. Now, the white is from Windsor, the purple is from Gamblin, the mead and crimson is from Meaden, and then everything else is from the Bob Ross set. So, let's get... Ready to go. You guys ready to go? Set my microphone. Hello. Okay. In here, we're going to come in and let's decide, maybe, just maybe, if we're going to do a orangey, pinky, purpley type of thing. Let's get a little of our Indian yellow just into the sky, right? All I need is lots of colors and lots of clouds in the sky because we're going to come in with a big old scraggly tree branch in the front. So, let's maybe pop in a bit of our Indian yellow down here. A little bit of that, and then right on top of that, we're going to go right into our crimson paint from the Meaden set. Now, you can see just from how far it pulls out, it's a much wetter paint than our, our Bob Ross colors, right? And the, the Meaden and the Gambling colors, the uh, sorry, the Windsor and the Gambling colors, and the Bob Ross colors are all pretty similar. And then you get into the Meaden set, which is a little wetter, and then the uh, Magic Fly set is even wetter than that. So... Let's come in here from the meeting into the purple, that dioxazine purple. One of my faves, one of my favorite colors, especially if you mix it with your meeting onto the brush and it's over mixing. Let's get a little bit of our blue as well. Got some of that blue down in here. And we'll just crisscross and blend it out, bringing it down. We don't need a whole lot of craziness down around the bottom. Right? If anything, it's gonna be like a little wintry scene with this trippy little sky. It's gonna be fantastic. Now, I want to take that Meaden paint and push it back up through that blue, right, just to have, because the blue tends to take over a lot, and it gets there, it gets real dark real fast. So if we add some of that Meaden crimson on a different brush, right, because this one's now covered in that darker blue, I'm going to come in down in here with all that dark blue, and let's throw, like, a little craziness down in there. Switch back to that kneading brush, come on to this guy, and just drop a little bit of stuffs everywhere, right? Maybe finish it off with some dioxazine purple across the whole bottom. There we go. Now, all these colors are going to crisscross and blend throughout our sky. It's going to be fantastic. And like I said, we only need a little bit of color back here with some clouds and stuff, because we're going to throw a big old branchy, just a monster tree in here somewhere, right? Now, let's go wash off our brush. Because you got to have a nice, clean brush when you go to do your blending and all that stuff. You don't want to have all that excess color on your brush. I love just beating the crap out of the brush. It's my favorite part of the whole painting experience. Just cleaning the brush has got to be the most fun of the whole painting experience. Just like that. Over here, shake it off. Right, we go into our odorless mineral spirits, which is a very clear kind of alcohol looking uh, chemical and it takes all the paint right off of our brush very quickly right it looks like water but don't use water oil and water don't mix that's for sure all right over here over there all right guys now what we're gonna do dry off those two brushes get them nice and dry and ready to go and how do I already have paint all over the handle I don't understand what happens in the morning? This is why I paint at night, right? Because at night, you think it's more crazier during the night? You wish in the morning, especially after I just woke up like an hour ago. <laughs> and I was like, I almost debated not even coming up here and painting. I was like, nah, nobody's going to watch. No one cares if Josh goes up and paints. But that's not true. That's not true now, is it? Now, we're going to come back in here. What if we do like a galactic sky? Yes! Okay, let's do this. A little bit of our white paint. 
that titanium white, which is super thick. It's like um, it's like real hard frozen ice cream, right? Versus our liquid white, which is a very runny bit, or melted bit of ice cream. I'm trying to find different ways to explain it to you guys. So what if we came into our galactic orange little centery bit? Let's pop out like a little X. Just a little craziness, right? Because it's got that Indian yellow behind that white color, it's going to erupt into all these little different colors as we start to spread it out, right? You push it, I'm doing just little counterclockwise circles, right? Just counterclockwise and sort of dragging it out. Sometimes you can drag it out with a little bit less pressure, right? Maybe this guy goes out that way, a little less pressure. Maybe this guy, out that way. Who knows? Who knows where it's gonna be? Who knows what's gonna be covered up by trees and such? All we wanna do is have a little bit of craziness out there, okay? Now, let's say maybe that craziness it's a spiral galaxy. And we come out here and we start to rock. Oh, look at that purple and the blue. Oh, guys, look at those colors. Oh, oh hoo, hoo, hoo. wow, look at that craziness. That's going to be amazing. Have you ever seen anything amazing? You have now. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. Let's come in here. Mix up this color. You know what's fun about painting with Josh? They're all going to be different, right? Every time I do a scene, it's different. Every time you do it, it's going to be different. It might not look exactly like Paint with Josh's clouds or sky. And I might never be able to do that again, right? Because it's all about laying out those colors at random and doing all that pre-work, right? Which everyone's going to be a little different. You're going to have a little more uh, paint or a little less paint or a little more color, a little less, a little heavier, a little less. It's all, all depends, guys. So the point in saying all that is don't worry about what it looks like, right? Yours is going to be just as beautiful, no matter what colors are there, no matter how much you blend it. Thank you for the gifts, guys. I love you over there on TikTok. Over here, over there, we start to mix it up. Taking our galactic sky. Thank you guys over there. You're amazing. All right, just bringing it down, a little bit of clouds, a little bit of something. Who knows what it is? It doesn't have to be, quote unquote, anything, really, because we're going to come put up the little branchy tree in the front. It's just some background color, guys. Come in here a little bit of our white, and let's rock up into this purpley, crimsony bit off of this little arm of our spiral galaxy. <laughs> Boo -boo! We whip it up and around here. Pow! All this craziness, leaving places for it to remain dark, right? You don't have to light up the entire sky. If you want to just barely do a couple things, that's fine too. Not every place has to be overly covered. That's what I always say. You gotta leave, the, especially if we're doing like a galactic thing. You gotta leave those deep, dark areas. And then if not, if you don't like how your little design came out, you push it, overdo it a little bit, bring down some of that color around the backside. Who knows? Everyone's is gonna be a little bit different. And that's the most fun thing about it. The differences, right? Look, I'm even wearing the shirt. Differences in color. <laughs> you gotta have them, right? All over the place. It makes it fantastic. Now, let's come in here. Actually, let's not do that first. Let's come over here, clean off our big old brush that we were using to make our galactic sky. And then we're going to take a bit of our white, pop it in right in the center, just on the corner of the brush. Don't need a whole lot of white, right? Come in there, just pop it right in. Maybe we can have this super bright, like exploding black holes, something or other that's chewing up all these stars. We can make it flat if we wanted to, just by pulling on it a little bit, right? All up to how we want it to look. Go in, blend it, make it a little brighter. Then you can come back in, pop in more white on the top of that guy. Right, right in the center, maybe a little bit brighter, a little smaller, a little less pressure. Bang, leave it bright just like that, right? Now, let's grab one of our palette knives. Where is my palette knife? Oh, pe ah, found you. For some reason, it was back there behind me. Don't ask. Don't ask. Let's come in here. Maybe if we had all this... You, you guys know the, the myth about a black hole, right? They say that everything falls into a black hole and not even light escapes a black hole, right? Which is the case. Most instances, that's the case. Except when a black hole eats too much, it will eject a lot of that matter and dust and clouds and gas and stars and turn them into this beam of energy that shoots out of the center of the black hole. Boom! Just out into the galaxy beyond. 
Doesn't have to be super big, right? Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be super bright either. And in any case, if you've got one coming out the front, you need to imagine where we would see it along the back popping out, right? It's never going to be coming out of the exact, like you can't have the two lines touch. It pops down into the back of the galaxy. One going one way, one going the other way. Just by taking your knife and sort of pushing that paint out there. Boom, boom, boom. Dragging it out, brightening it up. Doing all sorts of stuff. Now, let's go in. You can also, right, I like doing these things where you have just that little bit of paint on the knife. Right? I'm trying to show you guys up close. Just a little bit of paint, kind of scooping into it, scooping into it. So we just have a teeny amount on both sides. And that way, maybe we can come off of this guy just right in the center and go like this. Just a little line. Bink! Just like that. Side to side. It's like a little twinkle in the night. Bink! Just a little thing cutting into the thing. And it's only maybe for the buyer. If somebody buys this one, they might be looking to go, oh, did you notice there was a little twinkle in the night sky out there? Just for them. All right, now we come in with that liquid white. This is my most favoritist part, and there's no way to mess this part up. So you're like, oh, if I could never paint stars. You totally can, right? We're gonna deposit all this paint out onto the side of the palette, then we're gonna drag our brush through it, which is going to bend the bristles back, and then launch them towards the canvas, right? Watch, we'll do it one time. Pow! Look at all those stars that just flew out. <laughs> Craziness. You guys wanna be zoomed in over on YouTube? Let's see it a little clearer. Hang on. Whoop! Over there like that. Come over here. There we go. Get a little bit closer. Just like that, right? Now, coming here, the more that we do it, the more you start spreading stars out around the galaxy. Right? You got all these stars in our night sky. I like to pop in a bunch of them right around our super bright supernova <laughs> black hole that's chewing up all these stars. And then as you get further away and further away, you get more and more and more sparse with all of your galactic sky, right? Super cool. Super easy little way to paint a whole galaxy in just, what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes? And I was messing, like maybe 10 minutes, because I was messing around the whole time, the whole first five minutes. So 10 minutes, paint a whole galaxy, just like that, right? Now let's decide, we've got to start putting something underneath our galaxy. So we can take perhaps a, uh, first things first, we're gonna need to mix up a little bit of our black color. So and I need to take a quick drink. Mm. Mm. Oh, just hits you like back here. Oh, that's what wakes me up. It's not the caffeine, it's that sour taste way back in the back of your mouth. Dang. All right, guys, what are we looking at? What are we looking at over here? What are we looking at? This painting sold, what? Who got this painting? Someone already bought it? Oh my goodness, well, we gotta, if it's sold, we gotta do the cha-ching noise, hang on. Hey, baby. All right, one more time. Oh. No more times, I, I dropped it. <laughs> I dropped it. All right, last time. Ho! <clears throat> That's the sound of like dropping a whole ta or a tray full of dishes. Hang on. Hey, there we go. Hit the wrong button there. It happens. It happens I'm on occasion. All right, now let's come in. We need to mix up a little bit of that dark color. So you guys need to tell me what are the three dark colors that we have to mix in order to make paint with Josh black. So we come over here, grab up these three colors. Now, it's a very deep, dark mix of color that will stay super deep and super dark, even in a galaxy of darkness and very little light from the stars. It will remain even darker than that, right? What are those three colors that we mix up? You gotta let me know as I try not to get paint. More paint, I should say. Oh, I guess that's more paint. All right, well, <laughs> every new piece of clothing I have has paint on it somewhere. And every old piece of clothing I have. Is it like that for you guys? Blue, black, and crimson, you're 100% correct. My goodness. Yeah, somebody did come and grab this one. Holy schmoly. All right, okay, we're going to take our dark mix of those three colors. We're going to come in and grab our bushy brush. The old bushy brush, that Bob Ross, like, round... Call this one's the half round size because it's not the biggest one, uh, but the old bushy brush. Okay, <laughs> let's grab a little of our white on that bushy brush. 
not too much, just a little bit, right? Like, right? It's not a whole lot of paint to try to put it out there. Drag that guy over here into our black color, which is going to make it a play color. Gray, blackish, purplish, blackish gray. <laughs> is that a word? The play color over here. Okay, now I want to get rid of all the white little bits that are on there. There we go. Now, not grabbing too much of our darkness, kind of leaving some of that lighter grayish color. And then we can come in here and start popping in these far away little bits of forest as we pop up and pop down, right? We don't need them to be super dark because we're gonna come in with a darker bit in front of them, right? Now, as I go across my little supernova, I'm gonna wanna cover over this guy. Back there like that, just leaving little bits of foresty stuff off in the off into the night, right? It's far away little bits of little trees, and we'll go back and throw some highlight on the top of it. We're gonna take these guys and we're gonna start to dab them down, right? Just with the corner of the brush. Pop, 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 right? Just like that. And that way you've got all this misty fogginess. Now we're not gonna go just straight across. We're gonna come up and down and up. Down, the whole way across, right? So it's not all the same. And when you get done tapping all these little crazy bits, and remember, we're just using the corner at this downward angle. It's not, you hear how that sounds different? Right, that's the sound you wanna hear. Just using a few bristles at the top of the brush to bend them down, right? Look, you can even see. It's just the top corner. We're not even using the whole the whole brush. All right? And then again, with just the top corner, you see how they're rolling like that? You come in here and make your misty fogginess at the base of that far away little bit of foresty action. And again, just using the top dang corner of the brush. Haven't even used the bottom yet because we've got it tilted at this upward angle versus being straight onto it, right? You don't need to use the whole two inch. I'm basically using the two inch brush as a one inch brush because we're only using half of it. Right now, let's go in with our other little bushy brush and a little touch of some brightness off of these trees. Right now, with all this crazy color out here in the night, maybe we'll get a little bit of our white, a little bit of that crimsony pink. Oh, goodness, a little bit of our Indian yellow just to make this most gorgeous this like fuchsia orangey color maybe we come out here and just tap on a few little baby bits all right these guys are very far away we don't need to see every single piece of every single branchy bit of all these things it's just a couple little details again for just a buyer to notice as they go staring at their painting for hours and hours and hours right it happens it happens it's fine a couple little bits just sort of reflecting our pinkish um, lighter color from our sky down into our trees and such. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, just differences everywhere. That's fantastic. And again, they're very far away, right? We can even take them and swipe on them to make them even further away into the distance, having a very, very, very small amount. And even where it's real thick, you can always go back in and tap on it, right? Just having a very small difference in color out there. Again, this is a nighttime scene. There's not going to be too much light coming from that black hole. you got to remember that. Now, let's also come in here. We're going to go into this sort of gray, misty area, which we can make a little brighter. Let's make it a little bit brighter with this peaky fog. All right, we'll come in here. A little bit of a cloud, right? Kind of floating sort of horizontally, but not straight across, because we don't like straight across. That's not cool. Right? We'll come in here and start to overly mix that guy into our mist, all right? Mix him down, now we'll have this base, this white, sort of misty, foggy area at the base of our far away little bits of trees, which are catching some of our galactic light off the tip top, all right? Now, this mist is gonna cause us anything we put in front of that to stand out. Now watch what I mean. Okay, let's come in here. We're gonna go back into that plaque mix right onto the same brush that had all the dark color, except this time it's gonna be darker, right, than it was before. Dabbing into that light color just a little bit to change its mix, change its color, right? And then we'll come in and pop in, let's say, I don't wanna put my big tree 
Let's pop in a guy over here. See how he's a little darker, a little more textury, stands out as a little bit closer to us than everything else, right? It could be a bush, it could be a whole bunch of big trees, it could be whatever we want it to be off in the distance, right? Everything that's further away is going to be a little smaller. Everything that gets closer to us is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot bigger. See, so we came out here like this. On the other side, since I'm going to put my big old fat monster tree right here in the middle, into that mistiness with our deep, dark fog. Okay, and let's say we had two little trees right back there. How do we know they're trees? Watch this. Why don't we take a bit of our trunk, that same darker color, and let's just pop in a little trunk or two. It's holding up all that color, right? You never know what it's going to look like until you go back in and do little things, right? Again, they're very far away little bits of action-y stuff. They don't have to be very tall. They don't have to be very big. You can come in and do little squeebs and little branches off of it everywhere. If we were on a white canvas, we could scrape in little things, right? But on the black canvas, you can't. You just can't. Now, let's come in and mix up a little bit off of this guy. And why don't we do one more big monster guy coming in from the side. Comes out here, being much darker and much taller, and then coming down a little bit further is going to make him seem like he's a little bit closer. Oh, I like it. Just a big old fat tree out here. Now, let's go back and we'll highlight some of these guys in some different colors. Why don't we go back to our little liquid white, just a little bit of it though, because you don't want too much. Right? If it's too wet, it's going to be hard to keep that in the distance and this guy that we're going to put in the foreground into the foreground. Right? Just a little bit more color. Each time that we get there, we brighten up a few more little areas. And that way, it starts to look closer than these guys back here, right? A little bit more of our liquid white just to help it stick. Got to help it stick. Maybe into that Indian yellow, maybe into our cad yellow. I mean, we don't want it to be too bright. But we don't want them all to be the same either. Oh, look at that. All those little baby bits on this galactic planet. Holy moly. All right, what if we came in with our liner brush and just a little touch of our liquid white. Let's go into, which color should we use? Let's go into our brown, if we can even. It's got a big old thing of skin on it. Hang on. Hey, right there, there's that fresh paint. So let's get a little of our liquid white into the bit of our brown, right? Kind of plunge my brush into it and spin it. And that way, that liquid white's mixing with that oil paint. It's getting nice and wet. We'll come out like that. And then maybe we'll just toss in a few little branchy bits off of these little guys back here. Boom, boom, boom. Go back over to our little liquidy white brownish mix. Because if you don't have enough on the brush, it's not going to come off for you. Right? Or if it's not thin enough, it's not going to come off. A couple little branches back in those little trees. Very cool. Very cool little thing, guys. Now, let's go over here. All right, we have to highlight this guy. He's going to be a bit brighter and a bit more textury as we get closer and closer and closer to us. We've got that crimsony purplish mix down here. You want to see a magic trick? You guys want to see a magic trick? Let me light up all this color for you guys. We'll pop a little lake right down in the front here with just a little white. A little touch of white, maybe a little touch of yellow. Just a little yellow right underneath our exploding supernova. Bang! Look at all those colors, guys. Oh my goodness gracious. Holy shaving cream. Wow! Look at all those colors, guys. Just by pulling down, right? Then we'll pull to the side very lightly. Holy dude and a half. I like it. The more you mix it down and pull it over, right, the more it's going to go the same, right? We want to keep these guys at least with that bright area right there. I love that. Give me more of that. Ooh, baby. All right, now, let's come in. Let's decide. Maybe we're going to have a little bit of snow or some kind of something, right? That yellowish color down here Maybe in between this little bushy guy. Drag a little bit of that snowy color down, right? Maybe it got all hidden behind that little bush right back here, so we can't pull it down everywhere. A little off the side, leaving little shadows and stuff is all you got to do, right? Stretch it out, let it become very thin, very thin behind the back, but we got to add a shadowy color. So if we had that orangey brightness, why don't we get a bit of blue? A little bit of blueiness. 
over here and over there. Boom, 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 boom. A little bit of that brighter blue color. Let's pull it back, right? And we'll have this bit of bluey shadow behind this guy into that more kind of brighter color shadow or highlight. Bing, bang, boom, right? Now, go back to that brighter color with a different brush because that guy's all dark now. And let's brighten this guy up. A little bit of that, a little bit of that yellow mix, with our white. Brighten this guy up over here, streaking him back through, over to that side, over to there. Right, pull it off the side just a little bit, and the lighter that we touch it, the more it'll kind of hop over that little hill, just like that. Very cool guy. Now, let's get in here. We don't want to lose this dark separation in between our land and our water. Definitely don't want to lose that guy, okay? And maybe we'll just have this big old tree growing out of the water or being right down here in the front so close that uh, we won't even be able to tell. A little bit more of our liquid white into our Indian yellow. Over here into our cad yellow. Just brighten it up a touch off of this guy. Oh, yes! You see how it's, it's gone from that deeper, darker highlights to a little bit brighter, to a little bit brighter, to brightest, right? You gotta work like that, where our shadows are the deepest and darkest, but our highlights are the brightest that we can get, right? Boom, boom, boom. Now, remember, guys, we're gonna be back later on tonight on all three platforms again, so no need to worry for you. You'll always be able to go over and watch this guy be remade over and over and over again, but if you wanna come back later on tonight, we're gonna be doing not the same thing, but we're gonna be painting again, and then after that, we're gonna be going to watch the Glitterwick stream. Super proud of London for becoming uh, partners with March of Our Lives. <laughs> Blows my mind. Like every candle that was, that's purchased, part of it gets donated. There's proof that it gets donated. It's, 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 it touches my heart. And I'm gonna go buy lots of those candles right after this show, in fact. Right after this show. So, help out a small business and you help out a, a giant charity that does so many good things for so many people. So go to glitterwix.com to make your purchases on the candles. Search for the March of Our Lives one. There's, um, I think it's prayers. Oh, I'm such a butthole. Thoughts and prayers. I'm pretty sure it's thoughts and prayers. That's what it is. I was going to say dreams, but that's not it. Thoughts and prayers. So if you look for those two scents or flavors, I like to call them. Don't eat them, though. Trust me. They don't taste as good as they smell. You're going to want to look for those two guys, and that are going to be the ones that are going to uh, get those donations over to March of Our Lives. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic. So, let's see. We've got a clean brush. We've got clean brushes. Why don't we go and clean some of these brushes off, guys? We've got too many brushes. What's that? Two, four, six, seven, eight brushes laying down on the table that we haven't cleaned yet. So give me a second. I'm going to clean some of these brushes. And in the meantime, you guys are going to tell me where you're watching from and what your favorite sandwich is. Because don't ask why, I like to know. I don't know, it's an easy question to answer, right? Like, what's my favorite sandwich? Um, an Italian? I don't know, it's easy to answer. My new beater bucket is very loud, because I got a brand new bucket, a brand new golf ball basket, and it's working perfectly, just perfectly. But it is loud. Now, the old golf ball basket, if you're part of my Discord, I put a picture of that old golf ball basket in the Discord because it was foul. Like, I was like, should we save this for a possible, like, future Paint with Josh museum item? And they were like, no, throw that away. It's disgusting. I was like, okay, uh, it's going in the garbage. Going in the garbage. So, how cold is it today where you guys are, man? It's freaking nice in Vegas, let me tell you. Don't even really need a jacket, maybe a long sleeve shirt. Which you can always pick up your Paint With Josh long sleeve shirts in my Paint With Josh store over on Etsy, which is paintwithjosh.etsy.com. Head over there and check it out. Check it out. What a segue. What a segue that was. Good job, Josh. So it's highly possible that Paint With Josh might be on the Tony Robbins podcast in the future. I'm just letting you guys know. It's highly possible. They want to do the like the podcast interview deal thing like on the days that I'm going to be in Knoxville. Yes, I'm going to have to like, 
I don't know, it's between like 8 and 10 p.m., I think. And uh, we might have to nip the last class in the bud just so we can get on to that interview. It'd be cool to be on Tony Robbins' podcast, in my opinion. I don't know. He's a cool guy. He's a cool guy. So, I was in talks with their his management people, totally thinking it was a scam. And, uh, you know, it, anything could be a scam any, anyway, but... We'll see. We'll see what it turns out to be. Maybe, just maybe, the big TR and the big PWJ <laughs> will get together. All right. Here we go, my friends. We're just about ready to paint some more. If you guys are ready to watch some more, I'm ready to paint some more. Look at all these colors, guys. Holy cow. Do we know who bought this one? Do we have any idea who purchased this one? Mods? My, my girls and gals and guys? I meant to say my girls and guys. Oh, Mac bought this. Of course. Of course Mac came in and nabbed it up. That's funny. Big Mac came in and scooped it. This one looks really cool. Mm. Well, thank you, Mac. I'm going to get you uh, your spin before we finish... The old show will do the spinny finny view. Now, we've got to come in and just, you know what, what if we did some, um, what if we did some, like, reflective bits of our reflection of our little tree down into the water, right? A couple little pieces. Don't have to do the whole thing. Doesn't have to be all of it. And then come back very lightly with your two-inch brush. And just swipe over it just enough to make them either go away or look like you want it to look, right? Very cool. Very cool, you guys. A couple more little bits, because I'm a perfectionist. Like that, like that. Over there, over there. I dig it, okay. Now, <laughs> gotta wash the dumb brush off again. Over here, over there. We're also, we could possibly be getting Paint With Josh brushes soon, guys. I know I've announced it prior, and uh, I'm hoping to hear back from the company today or tomorrow. Maybe late, late, late tonight, because they're in the UK. They're hours and hours and hours ahead of me. But we had a couple questions about the contract and stuff, and then I, you know, waiting to hear back so we can sign it and then get Paint With Josh brushes into everyone's hands. It's going to be fantastic. So they're going to do a um, if, 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 if the deal goes through. Then they're going to do a 300, uh, 300 brush set first run, right? So, are there 300 people out there in the world that would buy a Paint With Josh set of brushes? That's the question. Now, what's going to come in the brush set? Also, if it goes through, we're going to have two brushes just like this, a 2-inch brush and a 1-inch brush. Then we'll have a couple fan brushes, we'll have a bushy brush... I have a big old script liner. There's gonna be eight brushes in the kit. So, if you would buy an eight piece Paint With Josh brush set, it's gonna be everything literally except for the palette knife. So, we might just have to use Excalibur. <laughs> this thing's massive. So, would you buy a Paint With Josh brush set? I don't know the price yet. I don't know what the price point is yet. But they're eight brushes, synthetic hog hair, right? Because the company is very big into no harm, no kill stuff. So, they don't want to use natural brushes, right? So they use a synthetic hog hair, which I've tested. I tested, they sent them to me, and they're not bad bristles, man. I, I don't like the brush itself, but the bristles is what we really care about, right? This brush is not gonna be in the Paint With Josh set, but these bristles will be. And I've been so overly rough and just smashed, like trying to harm these brushes just to test them like over and over how rough can we be go literally perfect again like literally right back to the same thing that it was even like just as hard as i could possibly smash it guys seriously these bristles are gonna be sweet they're gonna be sweet so we'll see if the company hits me up and um maybe we'll get some paint with josh brushes in the future mm. All right, let's go over here. We need to mix up a whole lot more of our Paint With Josh plaque. Right? We need that plaquish mix. So, 
What three colors make up Paint with Josh plaque? That's the, the million dollar question, right? What three colors make up Paint with Josh plaque? Is the question. Have you guys seen Mac on TikTok, by the way? He's smashing it, dude. Every time I see one of Mac's videos, it's already got like 50 something likes. I'm like, dang, bro. Like, this, this, this is getting good. It's getting good, I'm telling you. Let's come over here, and he's going to try to take over the, the new Paint with Josh spot. That's what Mac's going to try to do. <laughs> Let's get over here. Grab a little of our uh, a little fan brush. Well, a large fan brush, anyway. We're going to go through all that color, but you know what we do need? Just to just to help us, this, which is in very short supply, right? It's called Meaden Lamp Black, okay? The lamp black color is super black, like overly black. It will color, it will it'll cover out every other color that you try to go, even white. It stays black even when you go across white, right? Which we all know if we use our Bob Ross black, and when across white, it instantly starts to turn gray, right? But this medium lamp black will stay deep and dark. So let's get some of this guy. Just a little of it. You don't need a whole lot. And it's very wet. Like, it's very acrylic-y. It feels like acrylic paint, right? But we all know it's oil paint. It's just very wet compared to our very thick guys. You see the difference? See the difference in those two piles of paint, right? You got very thin at the bottom, very thick at the top just in how glossy they are. So let's mix these guys up together, all onto our brush. Now you don't just wanna use just lamp black on its own because it's too wet to attach our highlights to. That's why we need this thicker paint as well. Let's come in and let's just say, we're gonna have, we can either have, Mac, you tell me, what do you want? Do you wanna have the tree sitting right here in the snow, right? Like a little guy pop right there and then we leave the water with the reflections and all that? Or do you want to have the tree bigger and sit down closer in the water? You let me know and I'll do either which one. Either which one. So what kind of gloves do I wear is a, uh, is a, good, is a good question. They're nitrile gloves. The ones I have right now are from Uline. So they're Uline nitrile gloves. Let me hold them up here for everybody to see. That's the ones I use anyway. The uh, four, mil, uh, four millimeter ones, you can use up to five. Uh, the thinner you go, the easier they're gonna snap and break on you when you go to put them on, right? So just be mindful of that. Where's Max Comet? Are we putting it on the, on the bank or in front of the bank? Max says in the snow. So on the bank itself, it's my masterpiece. Just a quarter inch longer than Bram's is all we need to do right, to make our brush just a little bit longer. I don't know why, I just wanna have the longest one. Okay, let's come out here, grab onto our tree, and start making our branches. And the more that we go, the longer little streaks, crazy little bits, all right, you can come out here, crisscross across. All of these guys, we're gonna have all these branches out here, all right, out here, now we start bouncing and wiggling and jiggling getting all these crazy little things to come off of it, right? Could be out here on this spacey planet. We don't know what's growing out here. We don't know what's happening out here. Little pieces, it's out there, over here. Gonna make this guy a little bit thicker to hold all that excess weight, right? Boom, just like that, as our branches grow and grow and grow and grow. All over, right? You crisscross out into the night. That's what's going to make them cool. That's what pushes out all of that galaxy, right, is our branchy bits. The more that we put out there, the more that's going to push that galaxy back. Watch, right across the center of the black hole. And look at how dark that mead and black stayed, right? And that lamp black, seriously the most gorgeous black color that will stay super dark. And you know what I mean if you're a painter. You know, when you go crisscross across the, that lighter color, it starts to change. You know it. I know it. Right? But somehow Meaden figured out a way to keep all that paint nice and deep and dark black from changing. Boom, over here. A couple little crazy bits. Little teeniest, tiniest little branches you can possibly make. Just fantastic. Oh, but this guy, right there. Pick him up. Bang. Drag him off to the side. Never just has to be one thing. Maybe it came down like this. 
<laughs> trying to cover up that little piece out there. Fantastic. Come in, add our branches. Right over there. Bang. Over to the side. Boom. They get smaller and smaller and smaller as they get out towards the end. We all know that. Out here. Little baby bits. Little streaks. The, the cool thing about this brush is if you have enough of that odorless mineral spirits onto it, it will literally run forever. Like you can flick out the longest, streakiest little branches you've ever done did seen. Right? Now, if we're going to have that guy, let's put his reflection in here into the water. Just down like that. Just enough. Right? And we've got the tree <clears throat> at the base right down there. And then again, we're going to take our two inch brush. Real hard pressure. Pull it. Right? Streak it. Now we've got to go all the way across just to have it not be wavy. Just like that, guys. Holy shaving cream. Back here, we're going to pop a couple little branches in into the reflection of the water. Just like that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Man alive. That looks cool. I like that right there. Okay. Now, let's take our one-inch brush. Gonna grab up the base of the tree down here. Start to pull it down away from that light, right? Down there. We don't want it to stretch too far, especially that mead and lamp black. It will run forever. It's very wet, so don't let it run too far. Very light little touches. Right? You guys can do this. I'm serious. You can totally make it happen. You can do it. Every single step I'm showing you, right? Let's come out here. You can either leave your tree nice and and uh, silhouetted like that, nice and dark, or we can get back in there with some crazy branches, right? Just some crazy branches. Over here, over there, uh, or some highlights anyway. Not the branches, it's already got branches on it. We need some highlights, right? A little bit of that white mixed with a teeny tiny touch of that yellow, and we only need a small, small little bit on little sections of the branch. Doesn't have to go all the way up, you don't have to touch every single spot, all right? Down here where we get around the bottom, we kind of tap at it a little bit, create that barky feel to the tree. Very cool, come back in here, grab it up on the tip top of this guy. Right? Out there, out of here, it's got that one branch, it's like way up there, little guy in there. All these little things are gonna help highlight our tree and make it look more rounded, especially if we can leave that little dark line around the back, right? You don't want to cover up your whole branch in white. You have to have a bit of darkness back behind it. And that helps it look more 3D, right? If you had all this bit covered in all the thing, it wouldn't look like it was round, right? Now this guy might be covered up too much. So you can come in with your darkness, go back over that bit, right? And darken it down to whatever we want it to be, guys. Honestly, that's the whole thing. What do you want it to look like? I say it all the time. What, do you think I was joking? No. What do you want it to look like? You've got to go back in and tell us what it should look like. Right? All up to you. No one else. Except for you. That's very cool. Goodness gracious me. That is a neat one. Over here. Over there. Just a little bit of brightness up our tree. Holy shaving cream, guys. That's cool. That's cool. All right, we did have one big section right there. And a few more of these little trees back out here. Little branches and stuff out into the night. Very cool. Very, very neat. Now, you guys got to come up with a name for this painting. The Tree of the Galaxy. <laughs> I don't know what. The, you guys got to come up with a name for it. And then Mac's going to choose between all the names out there in the comments. Mac gets to pick, since he purchased the painting, he gets to choose the name. While we try to dry off this liner brush, and then put it back. There we go. So, what are we going to pick for a name for this one, guys? Let Mac know in the comments. He'll choose, since he purchased it. And then I'll turn it around and sign it. Here we go, my friends, my friends, my ladies, my countrymen, 
My country women. <laughs> Let's see. Sometimes you just got the teeniest, tiniest amount of paint on there. And you're like, do I need to clean that? Nah. Yes, clean it. <laughs> yes, clean it. Even if, you didn't, if you, even if you think you cleaned it already, clean it again. Brushes are expensive, man. You don't want to have to go through them as often as I do. Let's see. Last brush to clean. What are we going to name this painting, guys? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> Let me know in the ments below. How come we shorten the word application to apps, but we haven't shortened the word comments to mints? Let me know in the mints, bro, what you want to call this painting. You gotta leave me a mint, not a mint. My breath isn't that bad. I don't need a mint. I need a mint. Comment. Just a comment. Now, you guys gotta let me know. Nightlight, I like that. That's a painting and a half, says Jesse. Woo! The single secret, says Hope. What would you guys think this one would be? Spider Vintage. That's a cool name over there on YouTube. Spider Vintage. Dig it. Every time I zoom out, I expose more of my wall. There we go. Over there, over there. Absolutely gorgeous, they say. Thank you for that. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Cosmic sky. Suave moments. I like that. The tree of eternity. That's a cool name. That's a cool name. One tree to rule them all. But another tree was made. For deep in the forest of Sauron. <laughs> this tree was forged in secret. To control all the other rings, or trees. <laughs> That's cool. One tree to rule them all. Now I want to go watch freaking Lord of the Rings, Mac. Thanks. Now I've got to go over there and watch Lord of the Rings. Let's see. This one is number 1,190. 90. 1,190. As the uh, Australian fans would say. All right, what are we naming it again? One ring to rule them all. Okay, doesn't make, I mean, maybe the ring of the galaxy he means? Doesn't make any sense to me, but let's see. One ring to rule them all. Hey, painted on 226 of 24, and we're all going to go check out paintwithjosh.com because that's where all the fun is, guys. And not only that, go to glitterwix.com and support uh, the charity and the candles. I'm going to head over there. I'm going to make my order literally right after I take a photo of this and go post it to Facebook. Head over to glitterwix.com, put my order in. So be sure to look for thoughts and prayers, and that's going to be the charitable donation one that goes towards... Um, massive March of Dimes charity. It's just fantastic. So, you guys have been great. I love you all. We gotta do Max Spinny Winnie Wheel, and then mm, we'll get out of here, man. We'll get on up out of here. Discord stream Lord of the Rings so I can watch too. I might just do that. I might just do that, guys. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, this one came out really neat. I love the little, like, island we're on with this tree, the reflections, everything. Dig it. Just dig it. So, let's get the spinny winny wheel out. Mac, are we going to give it away or are we going to keep it? I'm still your Padawan. Mac's trying to take over the paint with Josh throwing, man. It's getting better and better. Getting better and better. All right, we're going to give it away. We're going to keep it. Mac Daniel, my man. The old MacDonald had a painting. E-I-E-I, -E -I, give it away or keep it. <laughs> While I finish chugging this Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. You ever had a Red Bull? Love Red Bull. You ever had a Red Bull? I had a Red Bull today. It was super good. You want a Red Bull?
Rebel, 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 rebel. <laughs> oh man, it doesn't make me like that. I don't know, kind of, maybe, a little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Thank you, Mac. I'm, I'm in awe of you. Need an outfit? No, Mac has the complete outfit. Mac has, uh, Mac has the jacket, the sweats, the hoodie. Um, I think you need a long sleeve shirt, Mac. I think he has a shirt, but you no, know, he's got the brand ambassador shirt and the sweats. All you need are some Jordans. You'll be all set, Mac. <laughs> These Jordans are so trashed. I'm like, why would you paint in Jordans? Because I've already painted in Jordans, and they're all like, just literally speckled with paint with Josh splatter paint. <laughs> That's why I still wear these shoes while we come up to paint. So, they're already ruined. Already with the J's. The dude paints in Jordans, man. Yeah, he needs a beanie and he's done because he's already got the hat coming. He's already got the hats coming. I'll put the birds in there, Doug. Don't, don't, don't you worry. Mac, are we keeping this or are we giving it away? What are we doing? We can't just sit here and look at this wheel. Like when I ask the question, gotta give me an answer, my man. What are we doing? We got tons of people here just wondering why this wheel is sat in front of the half a painting, right? All right, I'm just gonna give it to myself. <laughs> I'm give it to myself. Hey, Lynn, thanks for becoming part of the Super Squad over on YouTube. Now you have so many, uh, so much access to more videos than you've ever seen before. More videos than, more than 200 videos are hidden on my YouTube page. So, I still don't see where Mac has said, is he gone, is he here? Are you giving it away? We keep, I'm, like seriously, I'm trying. Like you guys might be having fun in the comments, joking back, I'm seriously asking a question. What are we doing? Otherwise I'll move the wheel out of the way so people can see the painting, you know what I mean? Like. I need your I need your guys' answers. What are we what are we doing, guys? Are we giving it away? Are we keeping it? Are we stalling the show? Are we trying to make me stay up longer? What are we doing? Three times. I can't see it. There's all these things. His mess it was pinned. There's nothing pinned. There's nothing pinned. <laughs> I see nothing. That's fine. I'll just sit back here behind the camera. So everyone can stare at the wheel. <laughs> His comments got ghosted. What does that mean? Well, if anyone saw, can they answer for him? If I can't see his comments, can we answer for him? I... <laughs> People are like, I saw it. Well, what did he say? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys. Okay. We'll do the show. Should we do the spin later on tonight? Or should we do it? Like late, in the later show? So we can see? Okay. Well. <clears throat> hey, he's going to keep it. I see that. Now I saw that come in. All right. Are we got, or did you want to give it away? I don't know. I'm, I'm just here for you guys. Literally. Just here for you. To do shows for you guys. So, let me come up here. I'll just sit like this, like a monk. Like, oh. <laughs> right in everybody's face. Oh. All right, he's going to keep it. Let's do it. Let's rock and roll on the wheel, right? Let's start it on the grand prize, just so, in case it does, you know, a complete rotation, it'll land on something fantastic. Here we go. What are we going to get for old Mackie McDonald? Max, my favorite person. Oh, spin again. You got lucky, Mac. A double spin. A double spin fantastic for the Paint With Josh show. Where's the drum roll? Oh, it bounced off of it. You guys see that? It was like, whoop. And then bounced back into the Glitterwix 3-pack tiny sniff. My man. I love those friggin' tiny sniffs. I keep them in the car. I don't have a wax warmer, so I just pop it open in the car, leave it in there. Fantastic. Literally. Especially because it gets hot in Vegas, and uh, it always seems like it's melting, right? Very cool. All right, let's see. We'll put that on the list, and then we'll wipe up the old palette. 
and we'll end the video over on uh, Facebook and on YouTube, and then we'll hang out on TikTok. So, I love you guys. Um, thank you guys on Facebook for watching. I can't wait to see your versions of it. Send it into my Facebook page, Paint with Josh. If you're watching over on YouTube, awesome job. Can't wait to see your version of it. Did I just say awesome job like I'm congratulating myself? What I'm saying is you're going to do an awesome job when you paint your version of it. So send it in to me, facebook.com slash paintwithjosh. And until I see you guys again next time, take care. Have the rest of a good day. And blah, blah, just everywhere. Ba-boom.